So what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. This is your boy Gadam Slink. Are you guys doing? Welcome to another crazy video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I know you guys missed us Adam Slink video, eh? Don't worry. Very soon Adam Slink will be up and uh, running as at January next year. And uh, thank God it's the end of the year and uh, Use this use opportunity of these last few days to thank God and uh, to plan for next year because this year was really really rough for many of us and was great as well for many of us. Uh, last year might be the best year for us for some of us and last year might be the worst. This year might be the worst year for some of us. So thank God we are still here. We are still grinding. We are still surviving and uh, we are moving to next year. Thank God for that. And we are going to cross over. Most definitely. We are definitely going to cross over. So, that being said, Adam Slim will be back really, really soon. And uh, you will not just be seeing my face like I've said before. You will be seeing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of other new faces that you have not seen before. But uh, uh, this, uh, Brahma B, my other channel, will be all about me. But the Adam Slim. A lot of new faces so thank you for all of you i've been spending time over here thank you very very much thank you for your support and everything so far and uh, over the past few days there have been some really incredible updates that i've not been able to post here share the updates here but i'll be able to share the update on the other channel thank you for also reaching there as well now some there have been some past updates that i've not been able to share here and most importantly the most the most trendy part recently is the fight between Portable and uh, Charles Okoja. And again, you know about the Mecha AK case now. The Mecha AK case versus uh, his son and his wife. The Mecha AK, uh, who recently, the Mecha AK and the Tony Abraham who dropped a movie called Malaika. I've not watched the movie yet, but I'm going to try as much as possible to watch it. Because I really like a Mika Ike as a then one. So Mika Ike is one of those lover boys that I really, really love watching. So I will watch his movie, um, Malaika, with uh, Tony Abraham. And uh, he, apparently, according to people who have watched it, they say he, he actually killed that video. He did very, very, very well. Played the role of a husband and a father. Well, talking about the role of a husband and a father, when it comes to a Mika Ike, Mika Ike and his son, well, they're having this uh, struggle, fight over his wife because Mika Ike did an interview. Now, Mika Ike started the whole thing. Look, we don't lie. Mika Ike did an interview, called out his wife. He said that he that it he, he he saw his wife through school, pay her school fees and everything, and his wife decided to stab him. His marriage was miserable. The wife lied against him that he beat her. The wife did this, took his keys away from him. You know, a lot of lot of allegations. And uh, the most one, the one that I really, really paid was that the, the, the woman took control of the school. So many of his properties lied against him. And meanwhile, the wife did an interview also. But this, well, this time, his wife brought their first child, their first son. I think his name is Michael. But brought in their first turn, and their first turn said vividly that he hates his father. He said he hates Emeka Ike. Well, <clears throat> judging by the interviews that I've watched so far, Emeka Ike interviews, his wife, ex wife interview, and his son's interview. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, Knowing for a fact that I'm a man who was formerly a child, who stayed with uh, his parent, had a stepmom, and a son, a man now, who I can tell you guys to be from the bottom of my heart, uh, I will support a Mekaike, like, let me say 70%, and his wife 30%. Knowing for a fact that nobody is perfect as as well. Mika Ike must have done something, something, something. In a marriage, are you waiting for somebody to do something before you hurt that person? 
Or are you looking for somebody to do something before hurting that person? You know, this is why I do not support, uh, kind of like support. Okay, let me not go where I, where I wanted to go. I support Emeka Ike. 70% I and mean, meanwhile his wife 30%. And for that boy, for those of you who watch me on, on Brahma Abib, I said the thing. Say, that man, you are not supposed to be interfering in your mom and dad's quarrel. As long as it doesn't hurt both of them, allow them to deal with their own issue. The time will come that you will intervene. Not now. Also yourself, get money. Be successful. Take care of yourself. Marry. And have your own kids. Yes, then you will understand the scenario way more better to address both your parents. And meanwhile, the only the only uh, responsibility that man owns, that boy, 20, they say 20 years old, 21 years old, that 20 or 21 years old boy owns his parents is to have personal relationship with the dad and our personal relationship with the mom. How can someone come on live interview and outrightly tell a man who paid your school fees for years? Apparently, you are a dropout. Who paid your school fees for years? Who failed you when you cannot even walk? When you cannot even raise your hand? A man who protected you, who prayed for you, made sure nothing bad happened to you, who ran a task for you when you cannot talk. You disturb that man's sleepless night. Also, all because of you guys, you came out. You come out to tell the world that you hate the man, and your father and your mother just fold his hand and fold the hand that was looking at you, like supporting you. You are, you are, you are, you are really a foolish boy. Hey, that's why they say. That's why I said, before you can address anything like hate, give birth to a child first. Know what it takes. To raise a child, know the stress. Then, before you start doing what you are doing, but the mother kept quiet and allowed the thing to flow. Well, I'm just going to move past that though. Let's talk about a portable and uh, Jasso coach. I thought these guys were joking when they were talking about this whole boxing match and everything. But on Boxing Day, they actually did it. You know, Christmas was Monday. And Bossy Day was Tuesday. On Bossy Day, Tuesday, they actually did the match. And guess what? Portable beat the hell out of Jasso Kocha. Some of you have already seen the video. The video is no longer new. You guys have seen it. Portable really dealt the hell out of Jasso Kocha. In fact, Portable reduced the street credibility of Okocha. You know, Jasso Kocha will come online bragging, speaking all sorts of things. In Hollywood entertainment industry was known for this bad guy. Bad guy who did us a lot of bad stuff with his wide mouth and everything. But guess what? Put a boy, calm him down. Showed him that he has street credibility. Beat the hell out of uh, Charles Okocha. I watched the match. Although Charles Okocha is saying that the referee was a quack referee. The referee did that, the referee did this, the referee wasn't great, but let us be completely honest. They beat you. The earlier, the better you accept that defeat, the better for you. It's actually for a rematch. If there was anything of rematch, if there's any kind of rematch, Portable will still beat you. So, that match, I watched it. I watched it on other people's side itself. I saw their remark, and I can tell everybody agree that Portable indeed beat Charles Okocha. So this is a new development in the Nollywood, in the Nigerian entertainment uh, space. We want to see other entertainers coming up and uh, fixing a match. Instead of you going online, bragging and cursing out people, yes, go and fix, go into the ring and fix your opponent. Fight your opponent. Face your opponent and fight. Me, myself, I'm even considering Going to the pitch with somebody and beating the hell out of somebody. I've already said that on, on my other channel. <laughs> well, I'm on go. I'll, I'll very, very sure I might be organizing that because it's a new way of settling beef. This is a new way of settling beef with someone who always have a bad mouth against you. So it's a welcome, real welcome development, guys. Correct welcome development.
big up to possible for dealing the hell out of uh Jasokoja. Ah, I was so 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 happy about that. Oh, I thought I was even rooting for Charles Okocha. If there was bet, I would have put my money on Charles Okocha, and that would, would have been one of my greatest mistakes in 2023. But thank God it wasn't possible. Thank God I didn't put my money. Thank God there was any nothing like any form of betting. And portable surprise all of us. Be the hell out of Charles Okocha. There was nothing he's going to say about, yeah, hey, no, 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 they beat you. Just accept it.